Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. On the last run, I believe we played as the Stealth Cruiser Type A, attempting to unlock the B Type ship by completing the achievements. We failed, well I mean, I think the run was successful, but we failed in getting one of the two locked achievements. On this run, let's play as the Kestrel and try to do the same thing. Unlock the B layout of this ship by completing one of the two remaining achievements. They are have six simultane or six unique aliens on the Kestrel simultaneously, or repair back to full health when you only have one HP remaining. Now it might, you know, based on the order and the logos, it might appear that the first one's the easiest. I think that the third one is actually easier because we only start with humans. That means we have to find five crew members by the end of this run that are Mantis, NG, Rock, Slug, Zoltan, Crystal, you know, uh, Lanius. That's kind of a difficult thing to do. You can just go to stores on each of those sectors and just buy the crew, but that takes a lot of scrap to do. Normally you like to get crew members for free for combat or as a unique reward if you kill the enemy crew on board their ship. Having to kind of do this very directly might take too much scrap out of your run, preventing you from really having a very good successful run. Uh, same thing with this one, unfortunately. You have to repair back to full health when you have one HP. That could be some rather, you know, severe amount of scrap. That's, uh, you know, depending on whether or not repairs are two, three, or four scrap, depending on how far you are in the game, that could be anywhere from uh, about 60 to 120 scrap to repair. However, this is easy to do if there's an asteroid field and a store next to each other. You just go to the asteroid field, you get pummeled, get down to one HP, go to the store, and then repair up. So, either of these might be worth shooting for, we'll see. But we have to, we have to, you know, start somewhere, so we're gonna start now. Now, I am gonna move, I'm gonna start doing something differently here. I'm gonna start by moving my crew member into the shield room because there are circ circumstances where having a crew member on the shield room prevents you from taking damage. Normally, if the enemy has a mini beam and a heavy laser, if you don't have someone on the shield room, the beam can do damage, but I think if you have someone on the shield room, then your shields recharge just before the mini beam fires. We'll see. Either way, this is, you know, it's not going to hurt us that much by having one crew member change their positions and train up for a while. We're gonna fight the ship since we don't have any other option. And the Kestrel Cruiser here starts with the Artemis Burst Laser. I'm a stupid guy trying to attack me, but he's gonna attack me in the med bay, so he's pretty much an idiot. Uh, this ship has very good starting weapons. The Burst Laser Mark II and the Artemis are both weapon systems that you can be running for the entire game and you would be happy with those. Burst Laser Mark II is a good complement to any other weapon system that you have, and the Artemis, one power for two damage on a missile is not bad. That's pretty dang efficient. So our weapon systems are pretty good. Burst Laser Mark II especially, you know, that's a, a pretty decent weapon. I'm going to use a missile just to take their missile launcher offline and keep it offline for a little bit longer. I don't know what kind of crew they have, but hopefully they are not going to be trying to repair for too much longer. I can put a crew member into the sensors room and see, and I can see that they do have two rockmen repairing the, the weapons and one human repairing the shields, but we will be able to kill them before they get to fire again. Two fuel and 18 scrap is not bad for a single encounter of combat. And what are we going to be doing on this run? What is the... What is the goal of this run? Try to get six crew members or get down to one HP and repair back to full health. That could be anywhere from 60, 90, or 120 scrap. Hopefully the laser hits first. One of the shots missed, and I think that was the ion. It looks like these weapons fire very close to the same time, so I'm gonna have to be very careful about how I depower my shields to dodge the ion shot when it comes in. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna auto fire the burst laser on the weapons because it just needs to fire. Good, our shields did come back. They did manage to take our burst laser offline, so I will use one Artemis really quickly just to kind of help break through the enemy shields, and then we'll switch back over to the burst laser and keep those auto-firing. 
Need to wait for the ion shot to miss. Maybe I can bring my shields back online? I can. This is going to be a little bit tricky because the ion shot is coming out very quickly. But if I time everything just perfectly, I can pretty much avoid getting hit and not have to worry about taking damage on this encounter. And now we can finally shoot in an Artemis, take their weapons offline, and be relatively safe from their attacks. So yes, uh, oh, they have a fire in the room as well, which is a good opportunity to maybe get some crew kills here, especially if I attack them in another room temporarily, like the shield room. Let's see if we can get them to ignore the fire temporarily. And the Mantis did leave to go to the shield room to repair it, but unfortunately the NG stayed behind, put out the fire, and now their weapons are still online, so we're just gonna attack them in the weapon system and probably kill them right here. Yeah. Good stuff. 17 scrap plus contact a civilian ship, to chance to double dip in the rewards, and we get a Rockman. Excellent. So now we are a third of the way there by picking up one crew member. We only need four more crew members of varying types. I think we can do it. It's just going to take a while. And if we have to go to, you know, a nebula, go to a store in the nebula and buy a slug, then so be it. I will accept your quest and we will go to the quest beacon. I am going to get the med bay upgrade as soon as I can, because that is a very easy way of getting additional bonus free crew members and also to help prevent your crew from dying quite so much. Clone bay as well, but uh, we start with the med bay, so I'm not going to spend the scrap replacing it for a clone bay. Now, they do have a missile launcher. Missile launcher is always annoying because it will penetrate my shields, but with 20% dodge chance, we just have to roll them bones and hope for a miss. This is an Artemis, it looks like. I'm hoping that my burst lasers can take down their missile launcher, and indeed that is the case, which is good because now we have no weapons of our own. Well, we have the Artemis, and I will be using it to hit their weapon system as soon as it gets repaired so that we can get our burst laser back online. So let's wait a second. There's an NG in there, so I do want to wait until they get everything repaired. Launch the Artemis. Burst laser gets powered up. And good, it did land. Take down their Artemis. And now we can just wait for the burst laser, and hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is the only thing we have to worry about. We now have the upper hand since their weapons are offline and now destroyed. We can send our crew member into the sensor's room to uh, view what's happening. They still have an NG in there. He's still getting stuff repaired very quickly, so... Luckily, their pilot sucks. 17 extra scrap and a few bits of fuel will keep us flying for a little bit longer. Yes, so six crew members. That's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Oh, this sucks because those are two heavy lasers going to be doing a lot of damage to me, especially with 10% dodge chance. We're going to get eaten up here. We are going to take a lot of damage, and there's nothing really I can do about it, unfortunately. We got one miss. I'm going to use an Artemis. We gotta cut through their super shields and hit them in the weapon systems as quickly as possible. Okay, that's two damage. That's expected. One more burst laser, though, and then the Artemis can land on the weapon system. Good, and now we shouldn't take any more damage because even if they get their weapons repaired, Theoretically, they will not be firing at the same time anymore. And if that's the case, then we can... Uh, well, I should definitely have you keep repairing the sensors. Uh, as long as their lasers are not firing at the same moment in time, hopefully they hit our shields, our shields come back, the other laser hits our shields, and then we don't take any damage. And it does look like that's going to happen here. So, you know, this could be an opportunity to just farm experience points, Farm the dodge chance, farm the shield hits that are giving Naomi a little bit more experience, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to kill him and move on. If I was min-maxing, if I was trying to do something that was extremely difficult, like an, an achievement that uh, has been out of my reach for a long time, then I would probably definitely do that and just like cut the video and skim it out. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I don't think we need to. Uh, ask if anyone would be interested in joining the crew. Hell yes. Unfortunately, it is, it is a human. So we're probably just going to dismiss this person in the future as soon as we... Oh, this sucks. I can't go to the uh, quest. I can go to like one or two more beacons, but there's no way from the quest to the exit that doesn't have me backtrack severely. 
So this is actually a very poor layout. And I don't feel comfortable very early on going through so, so many rebel beacons. So I'm probably just going to try to run as fast as I can. What a shame. What a terrible first sector. I mean, we did get one rock man, but, you know, we still have four more crew members to go. And yeah, so six crew members. Six crew members is going to be difficult to do. I will get the shields powered up to level two on this fight. Uh, but I think we can do it. Even if I have, even if, excuse me, even if I have to go to stores in order to buy the crew members, I'll do it. It's more important than getting a win on this run because the whole point of this run right now is to get the B-type layout. I really don't care if I win. I don't care if I do particularly well. I don't even care if I get to like the fourth or fifth sector. If I can find an asteroid field and a store next to each other and I have the scrap for it, I'm going to waste it all. Waste it all on taking damage and repairing. If I can buy crew members, I will do it. And we'll see how this run goes. Normally I don't do that type of stuff because it is kind of a waste of money. Buying crew members, a lot of times you just get crew members for free. Spending scrap on repairs. If you have to spend a lot of your money on repairs, you're not upgrading your ship at all. So that's just a, sn it's a snowballing effect. The more money you spend on repairs, the less money you have for yourself. And there's nothing else we can do on this on this sector, so we're going to go to the up. Uh, we're going to go to the abandoned sector. Normally, I don't like going to abandoned sectors, especially so early on. But I feel like this is a good opportunity to maybe pick up some additional crew members that I wouldn't be able to pick up otherwise. Specifically, Alanius would be really cool. So that's just nothing. I don't have the scrap right now, right now to actually buy a crew member, so we're gonna have to just leave this beacon for a little while longer. Maybe we can jump around and then come back to the store. But if I can, if I can buy Alanius, I'll do it. Well, probably not now since we're just gonna have to run. But I'll go to the distress beacon. Hopefully, get into some combat. I should definitely get. I will attack the Alanius ship. There's a rock man here. Maybe they will be grateful. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, maybe I should upgrade the piloting and sensors to level 2 on this sector because there are situations where having piloting to level 2 can net you a blue option. I think also the same applies for sensors, but uh, Lania Sector is one of the few places in the game where you can actually get blue options for piloting. I think there are, pro there are probably a couple, but this is definitely the one that I know of. Them having one laser or one beam online, I don't care about. I'm just gonna hit him in the shields. Divert their repairing. Uh, divert their uh, repairing focus, I guess. I think we started a fire in the shield room, which is why no one's uh, got in there and actually started repairing. I was hoping maybe we we would be able to pick up another crew member. Unfortunately, no. But that's okay. We already have a rock man. So this is just a normal pirate ship. However, this pirate ship does have a missile launcher, which is a pain in the ass because with the missiles, I have no way of dodging it and it's gonna take me a while to bust through their super shield. I am going to use an Artemis. They did take down my weapon system, so I am going to quickly change power around to get the burst laser powered up since it is reusable and it does slightly more damage than the Artemis. If it fires, if it lands, we should be pretty good to take down their weapons before they, do before they do too much more damage to me. Well, we landed with one shot. Unfortunately, it didn't hit the uh, missile, it hit the ion weapon. Do have a fire in the door room. We can put that out, no problem. And I'm just going to constantly be firing on their weapon system. Keep that offline. Definitely get the rock man and the human healed up since they've been taking a lot of damage on this encounter so far. Well, rock man's taken a couple of missiles to the face. Human, that was his first, but I think he handled the job quite nicely. He's still alive after all. Okay, one more burst laser and rock man can go be healed up since they are going to be dead. And just picked up 14 scrap. So let's get the piloting, let's get the sensors upgraded and let's save the rest of our scrap and maybe find a store by the end of the sector another one anyways 
and if we're lucky, if we're very lucky by a Lanius or a Slug or a Zoltan. Lanius, Slugs, and Zoltan are, are some of the hardest ones to actually find and purchase because normally you just have to go to those specific sectors to find them. You have to go to a Lanius sector, you have to go to a Zoltan sector, or a Slug Nebula. So I am kind of hoping that we might be able to get a little bit lucky and just buy some crew members here. If not, then maybe we'll just focus on trying to find an asteroid field in the near future. Good, our shots did land, and they did land hard enough to take their weapons offline before they had a chance to fire. The three-shot laser was the biggest you know, problem there, just because it might have done a bit of damage to me. I'm not going to accept their offer, because they are leaving the shield room, or leaving the piloting room, excuse me, to get their shields repaired. So that's, that's gonna give me plenty of time to get my weapons charged and firing one more time kill them since they don't have a pilot anymore and we are going to get one more bar of reactor power so that I can get the O2 system powered up and I probably should have gone to the store first because if there's a crew member here for 40 I will feel pretty bad about it but there's actually no crew members here at all so I don't feel that bad about it at all buy some fuel don't need to worry about repairing now because we're going to repair later well we're going to repair later if we need to. And we're just going to jump around a little bit more. Luckily, we haven't found too many nasty Lanius ships. The Lanius ships seem much harder than the other ships you can find in the abandoned sector. So I'm very glad that we have not found very many of them at all. Okay, beam hit. One of the lasers did miss. Probably should have had the engines powered up a little bit more when the shot came in. But we actually dodged one of their shots just fine with only 15% dodge chance. It's gonna take a little while for my crew members to get leveled up. Three and four more, respectively. And they actually did hit the shield system. I forgot that the laser fired at um, just the right time for that to work out. And I'm gonna use a missile just to keep their weapons offline. I should have done that earlier. It's my bad. It's my bad. But the shields are still online now. And with their weapons offline, we shouldn't take any more damage. Auto fire on the shield system now. Completely whiff. Probably auto-fire on the cloaking system, actually. They only have like a 10 second cloak, but that's just more time that I don't have to really be sitting around here trying to kill this rebel auto-scout ship. And it looks like they're probably going to be able to cloak one more time. Ah, you're gonna die. Your weapons are depowered. You have pretty much little to no repairing capability. I mean, you do have some repairing capability, but it takes way too long. Way too long, these misses though. This is gonna be a long encounter, geez. Come on, land. There we go, their cloaking is now completely offline. Now we can hit them in the piloting system to reduce their dodge chance. And as long as we hit with all three shots, they're dead. Good stuff. 13 scrap, now we have 26. Uh, since we're probably not going to be buying a crew member, let's just dump that into Dodge Chance. Just because it is a, uh, Dodge Chance is a good thing to have. It's a good thing to upgrade early on. Alright, this is unfortunate in that it's just a couple of, uh, rounds of combat with some of these crew members. What we're going to do is we're going to send all of our crew members into the back of the ship to deal with them. We're going to have to divert them into the med bay, so you know what, let's, let's even just do that now. Med bay and doors. Send those two humans in there, these three people into the med bay, and as soon as the oxygen disappears from the ship, we close it all off, turn off the O2 system, turn on the oxygen, and now these guys are screwed. My crew members will be fine, they will be severely wounded or dead as soon as they enter the med bay. I want them in the med bay because I want them to fight me in the med bay. Come on. I don't know where they're going. I don't know why they didn't try to go into the medbay to fight me, but, you know, I'm fine with it. We're just gonna kill him with Thomas and Naomi. Get them healed up. Oxygen's coming back, and everyone's healed. Everyone's spaces were saved, that's good. And two more jumps, and then we hit, the, hit up the exit. We haven't really picked up anything. We haven't picked up any new weapons. We haven't picked up any new systems. We're just kind of slowly upgrading the ship. We only have the rock man, so it's it's kind of looking like we're behind the curve on getting new crew members. They also will not be able to hurt me at all with the one laser beam, so first laser can just auto-fire and take them out. 
If they try to escape, Artemis on the piloting system, and they should be no problem. So you know what? Don't even fire on the weapons. Fire on the shields, fire on the uh, engines. Anything that will keep them around longer. Anything that will be a pain for them to deal with. And that makes your job killing them easier, so hitting the shields definitely fits the bill. I don't think he'll be able to get the shields repaired before the next burst laser shot comes in, so we're going to be able to hit him, hopefully, for three shots. Oh, and started a fire, which is great. They still have the med bay, and with three crew members, they're going to be able to put out the fire, so I'm just going to keep hitting them in the shield room. Killed one crew member, the other ones are wounded. One missile's not going to actually damage the crew, I don't think. I think it does 30 crew damage, so that guy is going to survive, and we won't be able to actually kill them since he's just going to go to the med bay to heal. All right, good stuff. A little bit more scrap. I can go to, to go to the side beacon before the exit, which is very nice. And we just picked up a free 23 scrap plus random supplies. Good stuff. Ah, this is what I was looking for, a free weapon floating in space. Heavy ion fires, slightly slower than the burst laser. We're gonna go to the Mantis homeworlds and maybe hopefully pick up a Mantis crew member. Probably won't be able to get the... The... Kazathpalaklik, that's his name. Because that usually requires you to actually have a... Uh, Teleporter, or some way to kill crew. We don't. We have Ion, Burst, and Artemis. But maybe if I'm lucky, we can even just buy a crew member here. It's not that far-fetched. Uh, their weapon systems have to go. Artemis is going to do the job here. They're in my O2 system, so we're going to send Shieldman and Doorman in to deal with it. Open all doors so that the ox oxygen goes out on the ship evenly. And we need to take out their weapons, because when the Pulsar hits, our weapons are gonna go down. Or our shields are gonna go down, excuse me. And now that the shields are down, we're gonna just, we're just gonna get slammed by their weapon system. So I'm just gonna wait a second, wait for the weapons to get slowly repaired and hit them again to keep them offline. Started a fire as well. The repair drone is going to be able to keep their, their uh, weapon system online, get that repaired relatively quickly, but we can just keep firing it with the burst laser. Now my crew member is going to die if I leave him in the oxygen room, so we're just going to have to replace it with the engine personnel for a split second, get the medbay powered up. They're going to try to surrender. Six missiles is pretty good, but we are... we're ahead of the curve in actually dealing combat damage to them, so I'm not going to accept it. Rather have fuel at this point. With only six fuel, we're in a little bit of a pinch. Oxygen is repaired, so everyone's going to go into the med bay. Their weapons are still offline, slowly coming online, but if the next three shots hit, they are dead. Good stuff. Okay, crew members are slowly getting healed. I am just going to jump out. I'm not going to wait. Uh, well, I guess we can't. We have to wait because the FTL drive is not charged up. Annoying, but not that big of a deal, really. Can't upgrade the ship, so I can't get the Heavy Ion online even if I wanted to. I do want to get the Heavy Ion online. It does take down one bar of shields reliably, which in the future will be important. When enemy ships start having three bars of shields, I won't be able to actually penetrate them. I will attempt to download the ship's data stores because this ship looks very easy. No shields, no cloak. An Ion and a single shot laser means that our weapons should fire at about the same time theirs do, and we only need to do one point of damage to make them impotent. And there we go. Offensively impotent, I should say. Because now that they don't have the ion charge weapon, we can just auto fire on their weapons, auto fire on their piloting, and there's nothing that this ship can do to stop me. I feel like these auto scout ships are sometimes gimmies. They're like, here's here's some free scrap, a nice easy encounter. If you have an achievement that's like, kill an enemy ship really quickly, you can probably get those on these shieldless auto scout ships rel relatively easily, as long as you have the necessary equipment to deal with it. 98 scrap, going to go to the store, either buy a weapon, sell the heavy ion, buy some crew. Uh, Vulcan is wonderful. I could buy a Mantis and an NG, and I think I will do that, because that's gets me to four out of the necessary 
six that I need. I could also just get a crew teleporter, and honestly, that doesn't sound too bad. This is a very nice store. Gives me good opportunity to get what I want, basically. Heavy Laser 1 is a good weapon for doing damage. Crew Teleporter would mean I could kill enemy crew. Maybe get more crew members because we have the Crew Teleporter. Use our Rockman, use our Human as borders. Ah, da, da, da. Okay, what is the objective of this run? Get one of the achievements. The repairing achievement is pretty easy to get. If we had a fire bomb, we could do it ourselves. Repairing right now is only two scraps. So it would take 60 to get back to full health. We have the scrap for it, but no way of doing damage to ourselves unless there's an asteroid field nearby. But I, I can't tell that from the map because I don't have long range scanners. Heavy Ion sells for 22. I could buy a Mantis and an NG. I kind of feel like just buying a crew teleporter, honestly. We have a rock main, we have a human. That's not bad for invading. Burst Laser Artemis can take out enemy weapons, giving us time to do the invading. Maybe we can get some bonus crew members out of it. Maybe we can even get Kazathpava click on this run by just having the crew teleporter. Crew teleporter, uh, Plus, the medbay level 2 is all you need in order to get a free mantis out of it. So I kind of feel like buying the crew teleporter. I'm going to do it. Buy some fuel, and we're going to send Rockman and Door Human in there, and they're going to be our boarders, and we're going we're gonna to try to see if this works. Now, Rockman is super slow, of course, so it's going to take him a million years to get back into the medbay whenever he gets wounded, but if... I should have sold the Ion, probably, but if this works... We might be able to get a decent amount of scrap out of this. So they're going to board me. I'm going to see where they board. They board in the shield room. We're going to send our crew in there to deal with it. And we're just going to send them in there like this. They have two lasers plus a bomb. That's actually not that bad. And if I, if I bomb them in or Artemis them in their med bay, I can kill their crew. But and I can just kill their crew right now, I guess. Get the medbay charged up, hit them in the weapons room so they can't bomb me for a minute. Well, I took their laser offline, which I guess is okay. Okay, Rockman and Joel. Go back into the teleporter. Ionized our sensors. That's not bad at all. And I think we're just going to probably Artemis them in their medbay. Or let's try burst lasering first. It missed. Artemis their med bay. If it lands, we can board them and prevent them from getting their repairs done. Yeah, NG's trying to fight me. Mantis is trying to fight me. This is good. In a few mom a few moments, I can exchange the position of my rock man plus human, keep them alive a little bit longer. And now we should have enough HP on my units to be able to kill them. Human's going to do fine against the NG. Rockman's got a lot of HP against the Mantis. And give me a crew member. No, 27 scrap though isn't actually not that bad. And this is going to severely slow down the pace of this run. You know, we're already on Sector 3, like halfway through Sector 3, and we're only like not even 30 minutes into this run. But this is going to severely slow down the run. But theoretically, we are, we are going to earn more rewards, which I can turn into more crew members in the future. Buying a, more crew members, getting them as a result of combat. So I'm I'm hopeful. Let's, let's just say that I am hopeful. Now, getting the teleporter upgraded to level 2 would be nice in case we've run across a situation where the enemy has more crew than I'm expecting and they do more damage to me. Boarding us in the door room. I can just have my shield personnel deal with that while I board them. We're going to board them in the piloting room to do damage to the Mantis very quickly. And my crew member in the door room can just go heal himself in the med bay temporarily every once in a while. We don't need to have two bars of shields because they only have an ion, so we're going to wait. 
hit them with the burst laser in their weapons room. We have a fire, but we can easily put that out. And we just have to prevent Mantis Man from hurting my door system, which should be pretty easy to do. Hit it with an Artemis, keep their weapons offline if I can. Good stuff. Now that their missile launcher is offline, I don't have to worry about them too much more. Rockman's fine. He's got enough health to survive. Their missile launcher is back online, surprisingly. I need my crew member to uh, wound this Mantis so he leaves, so I can actually deal with him. Artemis their uh, weapon system one more time. And swap my crew members around. Mantis is trying to put out the fire. And we killed the crew and they gave us a hull beam. We found a hull beam on their ship. This is actually really good. Hull beam has the capability of doing substantial damage to enemy ships and it's a nice weapon to, to pair with the burst laser since, since it is guaranteed damage if the enemy shields are down. I would like to get the weapon system upgraded but we need more scrap and time for that so we're gonna hold off for now. But we got a pretty good we uh, pretty good weapon loadout here. Heavy on hits first, burst lasers come in and then as soon as the enemy shields are down, hull beam can just rake across their ship, do damage to a lot of systems, keep them busy repairing stuff, and if it hits a systemless room, deal two damage. Good stuff. That that's that's an okay encounter. Went pretty well. Mantis ship at a sun is annoying as always, and they do have a clone base, so if we kill the crew, they're just gonna come back. This might be a situation where we just try to kill them as quickly as possible. I'm gonna send my crew into the shield room to deal with their Mantis. Artemis, their weapon system. Ooh, we might even be able to burst laser the weapon system and take their missile offline. Good stuff. Now we can Artemis their clone bay. Taking that offline means that the Mantis is permanently dead. The one-shot laser doesn't bother me, so Medbay can get powered up. And if we board them in the weapons room, we can prevent him from repairing the missile launcher, maybe. Probably not. But if we board, we can prevent him from uh, repairing the clone bay and saving himself. Okay, we picked up an awful lot of fires, unfortunately. Let's get those put out ASAP. Turn off the oxygen to try to get these put out just as quickly as we can. Don't, don't take out the doors. I, I don't need to have the doors open since I have the O2 depowered. I can see if I can get the uh, fire put out in the door system first. Oh, we got freaking breaching missiles. Those are awesome. They deal so much damage. We did get the fire put out. So now we can open the doors to the med bay. Actually, just send him into the med bay. Fire will go out in a minute. And put the oxygen back online, recover my crew. They can put out the fire in the room next to the weapon system, and all of a sudden, we're looking good. Okay, you're healed up. Send you guys to get healed up as well. Breaching missiles are very, very nice. They do four damage. The biggest problem with them is they take a long time to charge. 22 seconds. Really, if we can find a weapon pre-igniter, then we would be in the green, because we would have a amazing capability of being able to come out of cloak with a breaching missile charged, ready to go. It's a guaranteed breach on the system that it hits in. We would be able to do a ton of damage to the enemy. Now they have a halberd beam, so I need to have my shields powered up to level two before their beam fires. But since they cloaked, they will be able to get a shot off before I can, and maybe even get a shot off when an asteroid hits my shields, dealing a li little bit of hull damage. Luckily, they didn't hit any systems, so as long as I can take their... Yeah, hit it with a missile. As long as I can take their beam offline, they won't be able to damage me anymore, and with their uh, laser offline, they're just dead. Did use one missile there. I'm okay with that, though. Distress Beacon promised to help them fix their uh, defensive satellite system. We have an ion weapon, so we can do that easily. And with 84 scrap, I do feel like getting another weapon online. Let's get the hull beam. First laser plus hull beam will be able to do a lot of damage to enemy ships. 
even if they have three bars of shields, we will be able to to bust through their shields and do damage to them. With the Halberd plus single laser, I am actually not that worried about them at all. They're going to attack my oxygen system. No, the weapon system. That's that's better. That's just straight up better. Now I want the shield personnel in there first to take the brunt of the damage because we will be boarding in a second. But I want to kill this Mantis while he's on our ship. We have time to do that, so let's do it. Okay, he's dead, so let's get everybody uh, healed up a little bit. Send the burst laser out, send the hull beam out, deal damage to their systems, keep them busy. Okay, their medbay is offline, Their one of their weapons is offline, so we can put power into the medbay, get everyone healed up very quickly. Mantis is in the medbay, that's perfect, because he's going to take a long time to get stuff repaired. I can get my crew members in position, ready to board, maybe even send in another burst laser on their NG, wound hit a little bit more, good stuff. They still have a laser out online so I can still get the training from their shots hitting my shields, but we should be able to come out of this no problem. I am going to, I'm just gonna let my crew do their thing. Rockman might have enough HP to just tank the Mantis, but if I need to switch, I'll just switch with him and the human, and the human should have plenty of HP remaining to tank the, uh, the Mantis. Looks like I will have to move them around in a second here. Let's wait until the NG's dead, then swap them. And we killed them, 22 scrap plus 5 hull points repaired. Dang it! <laughs> you know, it's weird to say, dang, I didn't actually want free hull repair there, but I actually didn't want free hull repair there. Just puts us farther away from our goal, but I guess the the ideal situation is we find an asteroid field next to a store, so... You know, getting five hull points repaired is, is fine. I won't complain about it. Get everyone into position though. Jump to the exit beacon, we can't go to the distress beacon and then make it back. I don't have a cloak, defense drone. Reactor for 24 scrap is okay. I think it's 25 for a reactor upgrade, so I guess we saved one unit, which is kind of kind of terrible. I could go to one more distress beacon. Our ship is not that strong, though. But you know what? Who cares? If we get hit for hull damage, that's the whole point of this endeavor, is it not? So why don't we go to one more beacon, see if we can get a little bit more scrap out of it, they do have a Mantis and an NG again, boarding us in the oxygen room, so I am just going to send... They have no medbay. They have no medbay, so I can kind of take a little bit of time on this one. Let's take our time and stop him from hitting my oxygen system. I actually do want the human to take the brunt of the attack, because he'll run to the to the medbay a lot quicker than the other guy, the rock man. Their missile's getting ready to, ready to fire, but hull beam burst laser should be able to take it out a little bit. And I don't want to kill them. I want to actually board them. So we're going to send Rockman into the teleporter room. Human's going to get healed up. Again, they don't have a med base, so I can kind of take my time on this, which is very nice. And their missile launcher, it took a lot of damage, so it's going to take a little bit for the NG to get this, the system repaired. I can do more damage to the Mantis, wound him for when I board them. And this should be a easy victory now. Rockman should hopefully have enough HP. Uh, it, it, it's gonna be close, but again, I can just swap my, my crew members around. Might had ah, no reason to fire. I don't have anyone in the weapons room to get training. Okay, we're gonna swap them around. And good stuff. 27 scrap. That's not a lot of scrap for the risk that I'm taking and going to this beacon. I can go to one more beacon, but then I can't get to the exit in one jump, so I am just going to upgrade my engines, I think, and try to just skim my way out as quickly as I can. Make no mistake about it, though, this is going to be a very difficult beacon. We might lose, especially if they ASB our piloting system and then we have to get it repaired, it's deoxygenated, they're boarding us. This is gonna be awkward, to say the least. But I'm hoping that we can make it out without too much damage, and with 27 extra scrap in our pockets, maybe we will be ahead of the curve a little bit, shall we say. Now, three bars of shields is very annoying. 
Two borders is very annoying, annoying, and the door system is actually terrible. But I should be able to at least delay them from attacking the doors, send my uh, human in to deal with them, swap people in and out as the Rockman kind of moves lumbrously towards the door system. Burst laser's ready to go, so we fire on their weapons. One shot missed, so the hull beam can't actually do anything. We're gonna get hit by this missile. It looks like it's a Hermes, so it's gonna do three damage, I think, when it lands. It's taking a long time to charge, though. I've actually changed my mind. It might be a breach. It is a breach, so it's gonna do four damage. It, it looked like it missed. You gotta admit, it did look like it missed, but it actually did hit. Oh, good lord, I am glad I moved out of the frickin' door system before it got hit by the ASB shot. Holy crap, that was close. Naomi almost got fried. Let's get that breach repaired ASAP, shall we? Rockman can repair the other one, and we can jump out of here. Give it one more shot. No, all right, jump out. You know what, that was not bad. And I will go to the Zoltan controlled sector because I need Zoltan crew in order to get this achievement. So let's see if we can't do it here. Rockman's gonna take a while to get the system repaired. Rockman are not, you know, slow repairers. The reason why they seem like they're slow because they take so long to actually move room to room. In actuality, they repair at the same rate as a human or a Zoltan or a slug. They're just slow moving. All right, keep things going. And good stuff, he's healed up. All right, no store, that's good. I don't want stores now, I want stores later. And I wanna save 65 scrap because Zoltans are not cheap. Zoltans on a Mantis ship, that seems very interesting. And they're attacking me in the weapons room. That should be an easy kill. I'm even going to send the shield personnel in there, and I'm even going to depower their shields because they only have one laser. They can't actually do damage to me. But if I can kill him, he's going to explode, damage everybody. Like, with the jerk that he is. We're going to get hit in the piloting system for two, which is annoying, but could be worse. Two of our weapons did miss, actually, which means that we can't even hit the enemy with our lasers and hull beam which sucks because it just means that they're going to get another shot and they did hit us with a artemis so that does two damage every time it does hit there we go now we've taken out their weapons their med bay is wounded they got someone in there repairing it i am going to board them in the weapons room to stop them from repairing and if they get the med bay it... When my weapons get charged, I'm going to attack them in the med bay. Hopefully take it offline. Their med bay is still powered up. Now it is not powered up. So I don't think they'll go in there to try to repair it. I think they're just going to, going to try to attack me. And we should emerge victorious from the combat here. Good stuff. 22 scrap. Not bad. We took, I think, like four points of damage. Which, you know, just brings us closer to the magic number of one. Once we get down to 1 HP, we can go to a store, heal back up to full, as long as we don't die, of course. That's the biggest problem, is that if you're not next to a store and you take the damage, you might not be able to get yourself repaired quick enough. One thing that I could do is if I am near a store, like I am now, and I have enough scrap, I'll probably need 90. The scrap, uh, scrap repair rate is probably 3 by now. Uh, if I have enough scrap, what I could do is just depower my shields, let someone hit me, and either kill the enemy ship, crew, or uh, just flee and jump to the store when I only have 1 HP left. It's a little bit hard to do, because you do have to time it a little bit, but it could be something that we could try. Now this ship has only NGs, four of them, but no med bay, no clone bay, so I'm just going to board them immediately. Start actually attacking these guys. It's going to take a while to actually kill the crew, and they have... A Ion Mark II plus a Burst Laser Mark II. So they're going to be doing a lot of damage to me if I can't get in there and take their Burst Laser offline. Can't hit them with the first shot, but they didn't hit our weapon system, so maybe I can sneak in some damage here. Good stuff, I can. Got to hit them in the weapons room, and we'll hit them in the engines as well for good measure. At the very least, now they have no Ion damage they can put out on me, so... As long as we can dodge one shot of each barrage of their burst laser, we'll be fine. 
Now, of course, their NGs are getting stuff repaired very quickly, so we're gonna have to keep repeating this process a little bit. Their iron weapon is offline. It did land, though, so we will take a little bit more damage here, I'm assuming. Yeah, it got hit for one more. Get the door system repaired while we are killing the NGs. They, they, they can't put up a fight, is the, the biggest benefit here for me. Good. Cover my crew. Try to get in, get in a hit on their weapon system before they manage to fire all three of the burst laser shots, but doesn't matter. Th doesn't matter, and we managed to kill the crew before they even got the third burst laser shot out, so only two shots hit our shields. Good timing. 70 scrap, not enough to get a full repair. We, we need to hit the magic number of 90 in order for that to work. Intruders on board. In the shield room, two mantises. That's actually quite dangerous. We're gonna We're gonna send our crew in here. We're gonna get the med bay powered up, depower the teleporter. They also have a clone bay, and no teleporter aboard their ship. This kind of sucks because the event called for borders, and now the borders are theirs in the in the clone bay. Let's get my crew kind of healed up a little bit. They actually went into the sensors room, which is probably better for me than it is for them. It means that I only have these crew to use, these two crew, I can't gang up on them in the shield room, but at the same time, they're not gonna be able to take my shields offline. And I'd much prefer it that they don't take my shields offline. All right, we're gonna hit him in the weapons room. It's gonna take a while before we can actually kill their crew. So I was hoping we would be, we, we would be able to take their missile launcher offline. Unfortunately, their missile launcher is still going. Is this another breach? Ah, don't tell me it's another breach. It is another breach, but it looks like it missed. Awesome. Okay, humans are good to go. We can send them back in to join the fight. Okay, their weapons are repaired once again, unfortunately. I need to kill these guys. So we're gonna launch the... One, two, three, four, five, six. This is This will kill the ship, so I'm just gonna kill the ship. With the Cologne Bay, with their borders, their two mantises, this is an annoying encounter, so I'd rather just kill them right now. You know, we, we don't get the scrap for the bonuses for killing the ship, but that's fine. We do have enough scrap, though, that we can hurt ourselves and repair ourselves back up to full health. So I will probably do that. Maybe at this beacon, we'll see what combat we have here. Ideally, we have combat anyways. Ah, this is scary. Holy crap, this is scary. Four Zoltans in the weapons room. So we're gonna send everybody into the weapons room. Zoltans are good combat personnel, you know, they don't have any penalties, so this is gonna be kind of troublesome, actually. Their crew are, you know, weak at only having 70 health, but when they their crew dies, they explode. And they have a Hermes missile, so three damage every time it comes out. This is, uh, this is tough. I think I might actually just escape from this encounter, let one more hull missile hit, and then try to leave. Because they are beating up on my crew quite heavily here, and when they die, they explode for like 15 damage, I think. So I need to get people into the med bay. Med bay's powered up and good to go. I need to get the Rockman into the piloting room to get the piloting system online so we can actually leave before we die. But here's what I'm thinking, right? The Hermes will do three damage when it lands. When they destroy the weapon system, that will do one damage. I will have then one HP. So this could be the be the uh, beacon at which we hurt ourselves. We need to get the piloting system online though. Okay, Hermes hits, we're at three HP. Weapon system's down. Oh, but we don't have FTL drive charged. Oh, we're gonna, frick we're gonna die. We're gonna die here. They're in the shield room. Don't go in the shield room. Oh, don't go in the shield room. Yeah, we're gonna die. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. 25% dodge chance. Come on, do your thing. Now nah, we died. Okay, well. That beacon sucked. Having four Zoltan crew members board you is kind of garbage. I should have gotten the door system upgraded earlier because with the door system upgraded, I could have probably tried to smoke them out, open the doors, let the oxygen come through the ship, and try to not not even kill them, but just let them not hit my 
uh, weapon system and shield system. But really, the thing that kind of killed me there was their missile hit the piloting system. It started a fire, and then my FTL drive was not charged up. Otherwise, the plan would have worked, but... You know, that's why you do it in an asteroid field, because you only get hit for one damage when you're in an asteroid field, not three, that takes your piloting system offline and kills you instantly. Regardless, that was an okay run. A good attempt anyways. Um, I think my experience says that it's probably easier to do the repair achievement than it is the get six crew members achievement. And the shitty part is, is that the B-type layout of the Kestrel starts with four different raced crew members aboard. I think you have a human, a NG, a Mantis, and a Zoltan. So you're two-thirds of the way there. Kestrel A-type, you start with three humans. So getting the achievement is abnormally difficult before you can actually get the B-type layout. So, you know, maybe if we focus on getting the one HP achievement, we can do the six race achievement in the B-type run because it will be significantly easier. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. We will try a different ship next time, I think. And I hope to see you here again for the next run.